I will have a few tutorials on MIDI programming using Python with the Music21 music library. I will introduce the software here and then go over the basics in the next few tutorials and then move to more advanced topics. Most computer programming in music refers to creating sounds, but MIDI is not sound but instructions of what kind of sounds to make in terms of the pitch and the strength. Both the pitch and strength, strength is also called velocity, are numbers between 0 and 127. Since a piano has 88 keys, 128 values are more than enough for holding all of them. The actual sound will depend on the instrument or samples used in a particular digital audio workstation or DAW for short. I think creating sounds with the graphical instruments in a DAW is preferable. The other advantage is that it is easy to change the instrument or sample sets and immediately see the effects. You will need Python 2.7 and also the Music21 module. I will show where to get them. Python is a general purpose language like C++ and Java. However, it is much easier to use and is good for quickly writing code and executing it. It is also very efficient with a lot of code written in the C language. There are many modules that is external libraries available in different fields like math, science, graphics, audio, etc. One of the nice things about Python is that once you become familiar with one module, it is easier to learn new modules. You can search the word Python, select downloads or go to this web address. Python is available in two different packages. The first is Python 3, the first link, and the second is Python 2, the second link. Most of the Python code has been written for Python 2 and Python 3 is not compatible with them. A lot of Python has been updated, but not everything. Music21 is compatible with Python 2.7. Search Music21 or enter this address. Then click on Downloads Music21 link shown in the right column. For Windows, a third file down is the installer and you should first download it and then follow the prompts to install it. If the software can find Python 2.7, it should have no trouble installing itself. Once you have downloaded Python, you can start it like any program by going to the Start menu. Then select All Programs, Python 2.7 and idle Python GUI. You can also drag this to the desktop to create a shortcut and then you may click on it to run it. Clicking on idle Python GUI will start this shell. You should get the version details and then the prompt symbols. You can write simple statements like 2 plus 2. After completing the Music21 installation, you can open idle and try importing it by typing import music21. Importing is necessary for all modules if you want to access their classes, functions and data. If after typing import music21 you get an error, Python cannot find music21. There are many scores available in music21. They are included in the submodule corpus. These are the two statements to get documentation on corpus. This is part of the documentation that was returned by Python. As you can see, the corpus contains some freely distributable scores. To create a code script, you have to select File and then New Window or the shortcut Ctrl N. I have a seven line program. Its only function is to read one score in the corpus and save it as MIDI. It should be noted that line numbers should not be typed. In later tutorials, I will go over the various statements in greater detail. After typing a program and saving it, you can run it by selecting Run and Run Module. This program should write a MIDI file in the folder where the script was saved. The first line is a comment and is ignored by Python. The second imports the Music21 module. The third line reads a particular score. Line 4 converts the score to MIDI file format. Finally, the MIDI file is saved. I created a track inside a DAW. I used the FL keys instrument and in the piano roll I imported the MIDI file. 
Here is the piano roll. This just shows one simple example of the music 21 and there are many more. Finally, this is the music that was generated.